Hey farm friends, how are you? Hey guys. We're not at the farm. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Look where we are. Show them. Yeah. 26 years I've been married to this beautiful lady. <laughs> and this is our one. vacation getaway, or our anniversary getaway. Yep. And uh, we're gonna show you, even, you can take us off the farm, but you can't take the farm out of us. We're gonna go find some wild horses today. Yeah, there is the coolest spot on the Outer Banks in North Carolina where we are that wild Spanish Mustangs roam the area. And you have to go in with four wheel drive to get there, but we have some people that are gonna take us in and we're gonna take you guys along. So come enjoy our vacation and enjoy seeing some wild Mustangs in North Carolina. And I'm the most blessed man on earth to have this girl for the past 26 you. years. I'm blessed. I, I know we don't look like we could be married that long. <laughs> I was 10. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> All right, so come along and uh, it is hot and humid here, but it's beautiful. So here we go. Well, everybody, I love this girl more than I did even 26 years ago, so it's been fun. The outer shore of North Carolina, Outer Banks, outer banks. it's really, if you look it up on a map, it's kind of crazy. It's like a peninsula, it's like just, I don't know, maybe Almost an island a mile or two out from the shore is another shore, and that's about what? Maybe half a mile behind us is, the, yeah, is water it's also. A half a mile, is it that far? I don't know. So pretty crazy, pretty fun, and, and we're gonna go check out some wild horses here in a little bit. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to North Carolina. Tell me again how you got into this a little bit. Uh, just uh, drinking margaritas. They, uh, <laughs> they had to move the horses off the beach uh, a few years ago, or not back in 1996, actually, 95, 96. So that took place there about a year and built a fence up there, which you guys will see in a little while. And um, some guests at my dad's hotel wanted to go see the horses, so he took off and took them to see the horses. And business, two hours later, business was born. And that is I've been crazy. doing this ever since. Do you manage the herd or does the state, how, how does that work? So there's actually a cooperative agreement between the county, the state, the federal government, and the Wild, wild Horse Fund, the Crawl Wild Horse Fund. They actually manage the herd. And by that, they just take them off if they're injured. So if they have an okay. injured horse, they can't nurse back to health in the field and they bring them off the beach and they have a farm over on the main one. They so I can't take health. one home with me to the farm? You can, you can buy one. <laughs> oh, really? Don't, don't tempt him. <laughs> don't tempt him. He, he we will take one home to the farm. We are looking for breeding centers uh, and uh, they gen on and they get them, you know, where they can be taken off to be with people. And, That's uh, really so, cool. Yes. So, what do the horses eat out here? Just, Everything a domestic horse does, and a whole lot more. So they can actually eat acorns, really? which a domestic horse doesn't really sell. Wait, what can they eat? Acorns. acorns. Really? Yes. Do they eat like seaweed and stuff? Mm -hmm. They eat the dune grasses. Um, they've they've adapted. Uh, they, and apparently, they like cherry trees. We have a lot of cherry trees around here, really? so they, they like cherry trees. Um, wow. But mostly just the dune grasses and acorns. And um, so you'll see them, eating, you know, grazing out there in the dune. Red sea oats, basically. Yeah. Now we heard you'd ride one on the beach. Me? For us? <laughs> <laughs> That's not happening. You guys can try it. Man. You go to jail. Yeah, exactly. Right. I've heard Grab there's that, a point that, on that. that. that horse by the tail and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they are, they are, uh, they are wild. He got bucked off another right. horse not too long ago. We'll right. keep him right. off of it. <laughs> yeah. Good luck breaking one of these bad boys. Uh, that's uh, awesome. 
No, they're um, they're actually they 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 appear pretty docile for the most part. Yeah. I mean, you know, they are basically docile. They're used to people being around them, but they're not. <clears throat> they're wild in the sense that they are unmanaged at yeah. this point. But um, like I said, if we have to if we have to take them off the beach to deal with them, we will. And it's usually very dire. But this is these are legitimate um, descendants of the Spanish horses that came in, right? I mean, yep. they've been here. Yeah, yep. they've been here forever. since the first Spanish settlers came in and kicked them off a boat. Wow. Just Throw them off the edge and get to shore. And they couldn't get them back when the Native Americans ran the Spaniards off. Yeah. They had to leave the horses behind. So yeah, they actually done genetic testing on these horses in the staff, and the um, Spanish have very detailed breeding records going back since time immemorial. Wow. So they had breeding centers throughout the Caribbean, and they have um, they've documented the bloodlines back to that, and they're doing it in, in concert with Texas A&M. And some other in uh, NC State, so wow. they're creating a record of all the horses, who they are, who's you know whose parent is whose That's parent, crazy. you know, so they can they and they try to move them around a little bit um, to keep some genetic diversity out there. For a while, they were um, starting with PZP and you know get some of the older mares to stop having yeah. new you know offspring, and um, they they went a little overboard on it. So now we actually had a shortage for a few years really? of new births. So this year we have six or seven, eight, eight now. Yeah, we just got another one, so. Um, Do you see yeah. them often? Yes. That's I awesome. Don't, I don't go up there that much anymore. Yeah. I used to live up there, actually. I just sold my home up there. So they were in my yard pretty regularly really? up there, yeah. So the guides, we've got to figure it out. They know where they're they're moving, where they're general, generally, they have, each harem has their own area. Yeah, that, yes. different harem. Oh, there's a bunch of harems. So there's yeah. over a hundred horses right now. So there's, wow. there's, you know, you have a stallion who a couple mares yeah. here, and then a stallion over here with a couple mares, and you know, and there may be some old mares that nobody wants that they're just hanging out there. Um, but generally speaking, they have their own grazing areas and ranges that they move around in. There's 7,500 acres roughly for them to living up there so so if someone wanted to come take your tour tell them what that consists of yeah. hey say hi on youtube hi <laughs> <laughs> um what's well, two hour tour we oh, use open air safari truck as you guys will see in a few minutes um i actually started that by accident too i was out in colorado riding dirt bikes and this guy came by in this old international pickup truck with this cobbled together scary looking bed in the back of it <laughs> so i took a picture of it and i showed it to a guy and he said i can make those but i can make them a whole lot better That's so awesome. um so we started uh we started basically uh, doing open air safari tours i had suburbans prior to that so Perfect. but they're two hours long um you know before you start out the guides will go over some history with you do's and don'ts while we're on the tour and then along the way they'll stop and tell you different points of interest along the way and talk to you uh, over that two hour period and then bring you back mostly in one piece now what's the cost of it <laughs> uh it's 54 dollars for adults um kids vary depending on age so 12 and under is 36 and three and under is 19. and then we have a senior price of military at 52. Well, that's awesome, that's awesome. So. Well, bob you've been awesome we're so excited to do this tour Go ahead, guys. Those of you that watch our channel see a lot of wild horses out on the Navajo Reservation, but we're going to go see some on the beach, so this will be fun. We're yeah. super excited. Yeah. So That's thank cool. you so much. Thanks for being with us. Super excited about this, you guys. Check out Bob's Wild Horse Tours. Going with a whole family and us. They gave us permission for them to be on YouTube, so yeah, exciting. Okay, here we go. We're with this whole family from Massachusetts.
look at that. I would not have that pictured the horses being right down there. But that's crazy. I think we're not. Well, this isn't quite what I thought. I thought we'd see them out in some wild habitat. They come right here to the beach. It's pretty crazy. They're, they look a little shorter and stockier than I imagined. We're not supposed to get within like 50 feet of them or something like that. So. Kind of crazy. kind of stocky, well put together, not a lot of color, just bays and sorrels, maybe a dun in there, maybe a black too, kind of hard to tell, but no roans or paints or anything like that. How cool, this family brought their kids and their grandkids to check all this out. stallion I guess he's not super black kind of the darker colored one right there but it's funny because it's illegal to get too close to him but they've taken over this family's chairs and stuff so oh there he is there's that black stallion right in the middle of the herd there kind of cool We ended up with the best driver here. We got Karen, so. <laughs> so we reached out to some other wild horse companies and they didn't give us the time of day, but Bob's Wild Horse Tours, Bob's so nice and and uh, said, hey, come on farm, come video our, our deal and have fun. <laughs> All right guys, um, I like stopping here so you can kind of see what their natural habitat looks like behind the dunes and areas we can't go into. They have some go to somebody asked me can they get away from people most certainly that first mile and a half uh, nobody uh, can go behind the dunes there this is private land we are going to pop in a neighborhood up here when we pop down and go down the beach a lot of that is wildlife refuge now they pretty much eat everything you're going to see on and behind the dunes green and growing sea seagrass uh, the leaves on the bushes and trees, those uh, taller trees back there are live oaks. They keep their um, leaves year round, so they have those uh, in the winter, plus the marsh grass back there along the sound stays green year long as well. Now, as far as water, you guys are going to see a ton of water. We got like 11 inches last week. Um, so the horse We got right that now, much huh? the past two years in Arizona. Yeah, so. really <laughs> yeah, before lucky. that, it was starting to dry up back there so right now the horses have tons of water holes um, but if it does dry up um, worry not because they have all they want in that sound because while sound is brackish anyway we have a lot of runoff in this area it brings that salt real low so it's very drinkable for the horse there's only two groups left of this Spanish Mustang blood this group here and one other group down in Shackleford Banks North Carolina um, these horses have been here for 500 years. The Spanish ran our coast back in the 1500s. Has anybody heard our coast along the uh, Outer Banks is called the Graveyard of the Atlantic? Yes. It, it is because of over 3,000 shipwrecks out here. One reason, of course, is weather. We even have hurricanes. Mm. But really what makes us so bad is shoaling. And what that is is just underwater sandbars constantly shifting around in the tides and currents. Um, matter of fact, big ships know to go out there now. But the Spanish would either wreck up on these shoals or get stuck up on them. If they wrecked, of course, the horses would swim in. But if they got stuck, they would need to lighten their load to carry on. And horses being heavy and non-essential would be the first to be put over and they would swim. Now from there, they just started breeding and actually got up in the thousands from Cape Lookout on up into Virginia.
It's almost like a big pony. So every year they pick a letter and this year is B, so all the little babies. See that born. mare right there? She's blind in this eye over here. That one over there? Which one's blind? The far far one in the back. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. She probably got this little one, this little mare is small. It's amazing how good their feet are. That's Amelia, her big sister on the right here. Oh, that's the oh up there they're coming. Okay. She's coming. I don't see a stallion in this little band. He's around, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> he's watching us. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's watching us. <laughs>
Did you have, have fun looking at the horses? Did you have fun, Casey? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we all enjoyed it. Yeah, That's great. awesome. Well, I'm so glad we met you guys' as family. You have oh, a beautiful family. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you for oh. coming with us. We enjoyed it, you guys. Yeah. So we hope if you guys get to come to Bob's Wild Horse Tours in North Carolina, you get Karen Hi. as your driver because she was amazing. And Thank my you. hair is windblown. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you still have beautiful hair. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> so... It was super, super amazing trip. Like, it's I'm so glad cool to see. Had fun. It was so I have fun, fun with y'all. <laughs> well, you're amazing, and Thank it's just you. so cool <laughs> to see the wild horses. And if you're ever in Arizona, North we'll Carolina. take you on a wild horse ride across the hey, Navajo Reservation. Hey, I have a reservation. reservation. I'll remember that. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> we got to meet this amazing family right here. Thank you. That said we could put them on YouTube, so we're glad. You guys were awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Have fun. Drive safe nice home. Thank you. Thank you guys. Nice Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Subscribe to the farm on Route 66. And come visit Bob's, come visit Bob's wild, wild horse tours. tours. <laughs> awesome. Such cute kids. <laughs>
and humid, but last week they had 11 inches of rain. And so the fact that we've been here two days without any rain is awesome, really, that we're not just getting rained on all the time. So it has been a wonderful experience to be here in North Carolina. With my honey. Yep, mm -hmm. it has been awesome. So hope you enjoyed Sorry, the... I'm eating breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> hope you enjoyed the wild horses that was unique we, we thought they'd be out in the out in the middle of nowhere with no people and all of a sudden they were on people. beaches with people it, but it was interesting and kind of fascinating it's a herd of about 108 horses right now and anyway pretty it was amazing pretty it was awesome really cool. yeah been one of the highlights for sure but now we're gonna go back to Raleigh <laughs> and uh Maybe we'll add some more to this. I don't know. Sounds good. All we'll right. See, see you later. It's like Hawaii kind of a fruit stand here. This is so fun.